Now to our nation's capital, where preparations are underway for President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. And overnight, we learned the FBI will vet all 25,000 National Guard troops who are in D.C. for the big event, fearing what they call an inside attack. Fox 59's Alexa Green digging into this for us. Good morning, Alexa. Good morning to you, Britt. And just National Guard troops from all over the country, including from here in the Hoosier State, they are in the nationals in our nation's capital this morning, though. Before they do anything for Wednesday's inauguration, they will have to be vetted. Now, the reason for this, U.S. defense officials confirm that they're concerned about a possible threat from service members from inside, which prompted them to vet everyone. The Army Secretary told the AP that commanders have been warned to be on the lookout for any problems within their ranks. It is important to note so far, he and other leaders have seen no evidence of any threats and officials said the vetting hasn't flagged any issues that they were aware of. This morning, thousands of National Guard members and law enforcement are in D.C. They, of course, were called there after those deadly riots on the Capitol back on January 6th. More than 600 of those National Guard members are from Indiana. They're expected to stay in the nation's capital through at least Friday. The governor has said this will not impact their protection duties here in Indiana. Just. Alexa, thank you. Um, do we have any idea what the vetting process actually involves? Well, the AP says it does involve running people's names through different FBI databases and watch lists to see if anything alarming or concerning comes up. That, of course, could include involvement in prior investigations or terrorism-related concerns. Britt?